Hey guys, how's it going? If you're recent subscribers, this video is going to seem a little odd for you. It's deviating from the normal content that I've been making most recently. But some of my earliest videos were in regards to self-driving cars. Mine in particular, installing the, the Eon, comma AI Eon on my Prius Prime. So this video is just an update for those people who had questions about it. So I'm just going to dive right into it. But the content is going to go right back to normal starting tomorrow i just really wanted to give people an update who have asked me questions so yes i have installed the new software update i have not seen any difference in the software update for me in particular it still drives the same i haven't seen any type of improvements it just still does a good job for me and also people who are looking for resources in regards to help and stuff if you just purchased an eon or if you just you're looking to purchase one and you have a lot more questions my videos on answer those questions my earlier videos this is where i usually go this is like my daily routine so i come into the house and my eon automatically connects to my wi-fi and starts uploading my videos i usually am a day or two behind when it comes to um, going through all the explorer like analytics for the eon so Explorer is where all your content gets uploaded to and you go through and you kind of give comma AI information so they can make the software better okay so I have the high precision GPS so it picks it always collects map information on driving and my trip is that route I take is to Chicago all the way from Indiana so I come in I come home and I go into the Explorer and the green spaces are, I've already answered these, um, uh, see it pops in resolve. These are the ones I already resolved and explain why I disengage, but it wants to know why you disengage so they can, if it's a frequent issue, like if it's constantly disengaging because there's a car, the, the lead car in front of you is disappearing and it's actually still there. That's something they can fix that gets to make it read better or what have you. So it's, it's important to come home and answer those questions. So let me see if I can give you guys an example. So I'm going to go back to, I believe I'm have done, here's one right here that I have not taken care of. So this is one unresolved annotation from that day. So what I would do, usually it's never because of a major issue, it's usually because I just wanted to take over. Okay? So right here I just wanted, I just go to a wide disengage, I go to choose one and I wanted to take over and I resolve the annotation and that's it. If there is an issue, which it rarely is an issue, I'll answer it accordingly. But that's really what I do first. I, I, I come home and I see it's already showing I have this one resolved. I just come home and I resolve those from like a day or two sometimes away. Now from there, I usually go through the Slack, the Slack community. So it's important to sign up in Slack for the common AI because there's a lot of information that comes from just everybody who's in the community. And they can answer a lot of questions and a lot of questions you might have will already be answered here so you don't have to go digging around too much so kind of it's really I, I really feel like it's important to become a part of this community right here because not only can you help people in that process they might be able to help you as well so it's a great thing is come here guys and get involved with this community another one is discord this i just got involved in discord i don't feel like there's not as much information here as there is in the slack community but it's gonna grow because i come AI, AI just shifted into discord i can't remember how soon it is like i i just installed it yesterday so i'm not sure when they shifted over but i just i just got into discord yesterday so but from digging through it yesterday and today there's not much there's a lot more on slack and then from there i usually take I'll, I'll take like a step and look into the twitter feed see if there's anything from there which most of the time it's not it doesn't really there's not like a ton of stuff except for some of the questions that go below it and then github is a great place there are also there's like um tweaked apk files for you to install and then there's also the most recent release so you know there's a recent release as well and it usually pops up here the the, the most recent one i have was it was just a i came home one day and it forced me to, to install it so I did. I mean, it didn't bother me. It just, it just wouldn't let me go ahead without installing, so I went ahead and did it. I mean, usually I, I would have did it anyway. But yeah. So, 
and then after like checking on github and what's going on i just go to the main comma ai website and i see what type of new hardware they might have here which they did update the phone it's a, it's a newer oscar 10 phone but dash cam and they installed they put a, a newer phone in it and a, i know like a newer cooling system as well see right here it's a little better and then this is more robust mount so they made a few changes on this as well so i just used to come here and see if there's anything else that i might need that might make it better or what have you but yeah, those are the main things I do, guys. Other than that, like I said, with the software update, I have not seen any differences. If you guys have seen any, any differences with your software ID update and you have a, a Prius or a Prius Prime, let me know. Let me know what differences you guys have seen. Uh, maybe I've just been, I guess, too spoiled to notice if it's gotten any better. But right now, it's, 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 it's been pretty good and I haven't seen a major difference. So guys, like I said, if you stuck it out through this entire video and you're a recent subscriber, tomorrow everything's going to go back to normal. It's going to be my usual stuff. But I really did just want to get people in the comma AI, like Eon community who started, who subscribed to my channel in the beginning because of that content, just getting the update and kind of explaining why I haven't really updated anything because nothing's really changed. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.